Hello everybody, Rick with Stumped, back with another episode of Bottom Bits. This is the last episode of the semifinals. Really excited that we finally made it here. It was a long, strange trip, but we've done it. We've whittled it down to just four candidates, guys, two of which have already made it into the finalist bracket. Who do we got in the finalist bracket so far? Well, Downwell, of course. Downwell, such a great game. I think we all knew from the start that Downwell would probably make it this far. Sure enough, there it is in the finalist circle. Who else is joining Downwell in the finalist circle? Please don't touch anything. Another great game that I got for super cheap. And this week, we have two more contenders left. Reveal the deep versus Unholy Heights. This week, we've got Reveal the Deep and Unholy Heights. Reveal the Deep, I only got through the first chapter when I played this for the first time on Bottom Bits, so I'm really excited to finish off the game, and I will. You guys will see this game through to the very end today. And we've got Unholy Heights, a game that I was really unfamiliar with when I first played it, but I'm so glad that I got familiarized with it in the meantime. Such a cute game, such a great game, tons of fun, and hopefully I play a little bit better than I did the first time because I was not very good the first time. I've gotta be better this time though, right? So let's go ahead and talk about what's gonna happen today. Obviously, we're gonna play these two games. We're gonna pick a winner, but then, then you guys, the finalist bracket will be complete. As soon as we find out who that third game is, that means we can move on to the finals next week. We're gonna play three games and only one will walk away. The difference this time is, of course, the one that walks away is gonna be the winner for season one of Bottom Bits. They're gonna take all the marbles. I am so excited to find out who it's gonna be. I don't know. You guys have made your predictions. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of people saying Unholy Heights. I've heard a lot of people saying Down Well. I haven't heard a lot of people saying, please don't touch anything. Is that gonna be the underdog contender of the season? It just might be, it just might be, but you'll have to wait till next week to find out for sure. Anyway, all right, we're gonna get into things. What are we gonna play first? We're gonna play Reveal the Deep first. We're gonna see my playthrough to the very end. You guys will get some, some closure in this episode. If you haven't seen the end of Reveal the Deep, you will today. And then we'll go ahead and play Unholy Heights. But first, Reveal the Deep. Dearest Alice, this boat is infected, plagued by something. It was brought back in one of those crates from the island they visited. I'm sure of it. I've been unable to convince the captain to turn around. He says the decision falls on Crook. Lucky for the bastard, I haven't been able to find him. I keep getting lost below deck. I'm struggling to find my way back up to the top level. It's like the boat is alive, trying to force the most difficult path. I hope I do not become trapped. I will find out what is in that crate. Your faithful husband, Isaac. All right. He wasn't quite sure of the date. He said 25th, question mark, maybe? So hopefully we're not following in Isaac's footsteps. I don't want to get lost. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we're plunging into the break. Whoa, okay. Things are taking a turn for the worse now. Oh, now we're stuck underneath the boat just like Isaac was. I hope Isaac didn't die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die like Isaac. Okay, only way to go left is down. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, ah, ah, spookies. Oh God, the spookies. Oh God, they're, oh, they're coming after me. Oh, have they killed me? That's a thing that could happen. Oh, I don't like that. Oh God, they're everywhere. Oh, I don't like these spooky guys. Let's see, maybe if I turn off my lamp. No, he spooked me. All right, you spooked me. So what do I do? What do I do now? Oh God, they're freaking everywhere. Oh, they don't like the light. That's right. Get back. Get back. I'll spook you. I spook the spooks. They're really creepy. Those must be what were in the crates, huh? Those, those have got to be the guys, huh? Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Let's go this way. Haven't done that yet. Oh God. Oh. Oh, they're everywhere. I need, oh, come on. I need some means of killing these guys. Nope. God. Ugh. Seriously? 
What the f Oh, this is really annoying. This is super annoying. Okay. But they're gonna be behind me too, aren't they? Aren't they? Of course they are. God! What the f Okay, I finally, finally might have caught a break. After about 10 minutes of dealing with that, that was terrible. If I die, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Tom's expedition, ooh, creepy, all right. It's my fault, everyone is dead because of me. I took the silver box from its hands. Then I started dreaming of a man made of light. He was coming to take it from me. He was terrifying. He wanted me to return it to the totem. Close it away where it belongs. When I looked inside the box, I couldn't understand what I saw. It was so dark and beautiful. I felt it escaping. Ooh, what was dark and beautiful? What did you feel escaping? Tom? That's good. Let's get off right here. Oh my god! What is this guy? Um. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's so sorry. It's okay, little guy. Or big guy. Oh. Kind of reminds me of No Face from uh, Spirited Away, huh? A little bit? A little bit. Whoa, where am I now? Dearest Alice, I can see the sky. How is that possible? I'm certain I was in the depths of the boat a moment ago. I can remember the thing inside the crate better. It was a stone head. I feel it wants me to do something. There are diving suits here. If there's a god, he has a cruel sense of humor. I just heard the boilers explode. I love you. All right, so yeah, there are suits and there's one missing, which must be the one that I... Oh, am I Isaac? Is that the twist? I'm Isaac and I can't get off this boat. Am I reading the letters that I myself have left my dear wife? Hmm. Plot thickens, plot thickens. Okay, here we go. So. The shield is strength, and that goes on the bottom. So let's go around here. Okay, shield goes first. I'm gonna plop you right down. Okay, good. Next comes body, which will be represented by the hands. All right, and then comes my, wait, wait. Is that soul or mind? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Is the face that represent mind or does the face represent soul? Oh, damn it. Um, okay, the round thing is soul, which should make sense. The face is mind. That makes a little bit of sense. I mean, your mind or your brain, if you will, it resides in your head. Last time I checked. That's where your brains is at. Your brains is in your head. So, mind goes next. And then soul goes on top of it. Very good. Alright, just one last thing to knock down. Ooh, what's... <gasps> the wood is starting to green with algae. Oh, I thought it was going to be that piece that was missing. Thought we were gonna crack the code. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get up that way. Take the other way. Oh wait, what's up here? Oh, what's up here? Nothing. Nothing good. Okay, soul comes next. Perfect. Now just need that last missing piece. Where is it? Is it me? <gasps> it is me! I'm the man! I'm the guy! Where am I going now? Okay. Uh. Okay. What's happening? What's going on? Wait, what? Lazy Monday games. Oh! You guys, do you see what's happening? Do you see what's happening?
And that was the end of Reveal the Deep. Got through all three chapters. Pretty great, pretty great game. I liked the mystery at the end. The game had a very HP Lovecrafty vibe to it. A little bit of a Edgar Allan Poe vibe, you know, that sort of strange, macabre mystery feel to it. Really well written, really clever game. I like the mechanic, turning the lamp off, turning it on again. Only it seemed that that mechanic was used less and less as the game went on. Was I the only one who felt that way? Uh, those monsters though, those monsters, give me a break. There was that part about midway through this playthrough where I kept dying to those little inky bastards and I couldn't figure out how to avoid it. D are you guys smarter than me? Did you guys figure out why I kept dying or is it just a part of that game? Was that the one part in the game that was the huge Achilles hill, the, heel, the, the huge flaw of that game? I don't know, it was really frustrating, but once I got past that, got to the end of the game, uh, what do you guys think? I feel like, I feel like it was cyclical, huh? I feel like at the end of the game, I became that light guy at the top of the totem, but then I just started the thing all over again. It's this endless cycle of repeating the same thing over and over again. So I'm getting the vibe, I was Isaac, right? I was Isaac and I just kept repeating the same thing over and over again. What a terrible fate, terrible fate. But great game, I liked it a lot. Is Unholy Heights gonna be able to do better though? That's the question that we're gonna answer right after we watch this second playthrough of Unholy Heights. Dupe some monsters into moving in. Aim for world conquest. I don't like the idea of duping, to be honest with you guys. But uh, I guess I am the devil, and the devil can't help but be a slumlord. All right, we're gonna conquer the world this time. Last time, we didn't have great success. This time though, this time I could feel it. Yeah, move on in. Chunny, my friend. There you go, I got the perfect place for you. You're gonna, ooh, what do we got? Meyer! I like you. Come on, Waterman. Yeah, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, there you go. Oh, you want that room, do you? All right. Oh, Pichun! You're gonna get along swell with Chuny. Pichun and Chuny. Ah, Meyer, hungry, huh? Ah, uh, what about this guy? Uh, unpopular cartoonist. Yeah, I don't want you. I don't want no unpopular cartoonist stinking up the joint, all right? Popon. Popon's gonna move in too. All right. Just got a bunch of chickens. All right, guys? Chickens galore living in this place. Sorry, guys. It's full. We're full up, all right? We're full up. Come on, Pichoon. Retreat. There we go. Ah, now here comes Chuny. He's gonna finish him off. Good, good, good job, guys. That was great. That was great. Y'all did a bang up job. I'm really proud of you. Okay, everyone's still happy, yeah? Everyone's still cozy, happy, great. Before the next battle, increase the number of your tenants. Well, that's gonna be hard to do because I, I'm already got four. I'm all tapped out. Build an extension. Uh, defeat gang leader before starting construction. You also need 1,500 Gs. Uh, all right, so I got I gotta defeat a gang leader. What I'd like is to see uh, Popon or uh, Pichun shack up with Chuni here because then we'll have a baby. I want you guys to have a baby because then I can up your rent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack your rent up. I just hope you know that. Uh, guess what? You're not paying me 19. How you feel about that? Same with you, everybody's rent goes up, okay? Okay, I can't get to 19 for some reason, so now you owe me 20, all right? Pichun, uh, you as well, Meyer, and there you go. Everybody, 20. Oh, Judy, you old dog, you. Are oh, you gonna sh shack it up with Popon? All right, cool. I like it, I like it. Oh, and Cold. Coldandra's gonna shack up with Meyer. Everybody's falling in love with everybody else. Yeah, now there's a room open. You can totally move in. There you go. Uh, all right, Coldandra. You guys, love is in the air. These, these monsters just be falling in love with everybody. I'm just gonna speed right through this. Whoa! He, Pillow talk engaged. Oh man. 
Oh, if the villager shows up now, I'm gonna be boned. Come on, everybody, get back home. I don't want a villager to show up while nobody's here to defend the place. Oh no, they're running away. Get back inside, guys. You too, Popon. Okay, this is the boss fight. Oh, okay, we've got a couple. We've got a couple people. So, Popon, go! Shoot him, go! Go, go! Oh no! Oh god, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. Pull back, pull back! Oh no. Get back inside. Okay. Oh god. There we go. Cool Dandra. Take her out, take her out, take her out! Oh yes! Oh no, who did we lose though? We lost our single lady. Uh, it's too bad. Chew cone. All right, the happy couples are still alive though. The happy couples are still alive. Picking fights. Cash and checks. Oh, oh, yeah, I got a wolf. That's new. Haven't had one of those yet. Popon and Chuni going at it too. Everyone's so happy. Oh, Popty, so cute, so cute. What about you guys? You guys were uh, doing the pillow talk. Where's your babies? I need babies. More babies needs means more rent. All right, give me playing cards. You'll get your playing cards once I get my money. All right, all right. You want a jump rope? Give me a single bed. Why a single bed, man? You're a married man. A single bed. You expect Cold Dandra to come cuddle up next to you in a single? Come on, man. Come on. What's this mean? I don't know what that means. Okay. Fish head guy. All right, I want everybody to get better, so I'm just gonna speed this up. I want everyone to heal up. And then once they're all healed up, then we're gonna pick another fight, all right? Cold Dandra, let's see. We just need you guys to get healed up, okay? Just, just fix your shit, all right? Get a good night's rest, because we're gonna quest it up now. Oh! Pio Girl and Chew Cone. Everybody shacking up. Okay, we've got three couples in our apartment now. Right now, Grow Wow, you need to you need to find some love, my friend. Uh, we ain't ready to do the gang yet. That's that's still a bit too high. We're gonna go with treasure protection. All right. Wow, and immediately the pillow talk starts. Pio Girl, wasting no time, and you guys are going at it again too. All right, I'm gonna have to jack your rent up, all right? Because now there's two of you living here. Well, three, all right? Your rent's now 25. I'll give you a CD player, all right? Because you had a baby, so there, all right? There's a CD player for you. Oh man, everybody's pillow talking. Pillow talking like crazy. Okay, here we go. So, Chun Cone is pretty beat up. A lot of my residents are actually pretty beat up. Okay, let's take him out. Take him out. All right. Pull back. Oh God, don't, don't kill her. Come on. Where'd Cold Dandra go? Okay, good. She's just cowering the devil. Okay, good. Whew, I thought that I lost Coldandra. I don't want this child to grow up without a mother. Oh, good job, guys. Now we can upgrade. Let's do it. Gonna build an extension. Defeat gang leader before starting. Uh, did I not defeat gang leader? Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, is it this? Is it this? Oh, God. Did, did I want to do that? I feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like that, that was a little hasty. Uh... Okay, well, what's done is done. What's done is done. Fair is fair. Gang recon approaching, all right. Here comes the first of our three rounds against this gang. Okay, here's the way that this is gonna play out. 
Everybody, we're, we're throwing everything at him. Catch him on the way out. 350 gold was taken. Pull Dandra, pull back. Pull back. All right. Pull back. And... Pull back. Oh, come on. This guy is... There we go. <gasps> oh, no! Hi, oh, girl! Chun Cone died! I thought I pulled him back just quick enough. Apparently not. Oh, no! Hi, oh, girl. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I killed your husband. Oh, I will avenge you. Oh, that's, that's tragic. I feel like I shouldn't feel this bad. Wait. Coldandra, your husband died too? Oh my god. I don't know how to please Dunnis. He's still just so so about this room. Come on, everyone else seems pretty content. You've even got the lowest rent. You've got the lowest rent in the complex. You're complaining. Ugh. These people. These people, am I right? Fled under the cover of darkness? Why? Why are you fleeing? You guys were content just a moment ago. Coldandra! <sighs> really? I buy you a single bed and this is how you, you, you thank me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. June, cigarette butt. <gasps> oh, damn! All right, Pyro Girl, or Pyro Girl is shacking up with a new guy. All right, this is adorable. All right, we, we need some fresh blood in here. Come on, Creek Thick. Yeah, boy! My paper boy, willing to move in to a new place. Well, I've got your new place. I, I, there we go, I really need you on this one, all right? Oh, crap, is everybody home? They are. That's incredible, that never happens. Oh, here's the Dawn Key! All right, Skelly Bones. I'm counting on you, Creek Thick. All right, Dunnis. Oh, no, 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 Dunnis, come back out. Oh, God, no! This is, this is going backwards. This is not the way I wanted this to go down. Okay, pull back, Creek Thick. Come on, guys, come on. I really need you to come through on this one, all right? There we go, there we go. Dunnis, pull back. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. Pull back. All right. <laughs> now you're living with your stepdad, all right? Uh, but we did it, guys, we did it. We beat that pesky old gang leader. Now we're gonna build the addition that we've been dreaming of, all right? Let's go level up. I wanna make that bank, y'all. Wanna make the money. Make the money. Loser party is coming. Gonna find out what this, this chick's like, all right? Let's see what you got to offer. Oh, you're kinda weak, I'll be honest. I don't like what you have to offer. Oh, everyone's like gone right now. Oh God, they're pretty tough. Y'all pretty tough. I'll give it to you. Ah, here we go. Here's old Smoothlos coming back. Okay, we're gonna need to slow you guys down. Oh, oh get back, get back, get back. Yeah! Oh, you're good. You're good, Smoothlos. Sorry. Sorry you died. Smoothlows bought the farm in 202. There we go. Got the whole family out. Oh no. Can't believe we lost Smoothlows already. We're not good at keeping tenants around. This one actually may be it. This may be the one where we lose. Uh, we failed that quest, guys. Oh, well, you can't win them all. And you know what? I think I've played enough. Played enough for now. That was my second playthrough of Unholy Heights. And I've got to say, or I feel like, I did a lot better that time, right, guys? Come on, back me up. 
That was a better playthrough. We built a second level to the apartment for God's sake. We had eight tenants at one time. Well, no, actually we had more than eight tenants because we had some tenants who actually had kids. Uh, how about that poor, uh, uh, what, what was her name? Py Pyro, Py Py Pyro, Ch you know what I'm talking about? The one in the bottom right apartment. Uh, <laughs> first off, uh, lovers, they have a baby, right? Husband dies, all right? Wife's broken up. Eventually she remarries. Now baby's got a stepdad, okay? Rebuilding the family, what happens? Mom dies. Now stepdad's raising the baby. You think that baby's getting proper love? No. And what's with my tenants fleeing in the middle of the night? I thought they were content. I, I thought I was a overall a decent slumlord, okay? I could have been worse. I tried to give these people everything that they, well, I called them people. They're really mon, I tried to give these monsters everything that they wanted. Uh, it wasn't enough for some of them. But in the end, I feel like I could have kept going. Uh, I, I sort of jumped the gun. I rushed it towards the end because I was playing for an hour and I feel like that was a pretty good place to end it. But I definitely got a hang of the quest system. I definitely got a hang of the upgrading. Uh, not quite got the hang of the different tenants. I did find out towards the end that certain tenants don't like other tenants, like that demon or whatever, didn't like those horse people. Go figure, all right? Racism, it exists in the monster realm as well. I don't get it. Oh, but now is the tough choice, guys. Who's gonna win? Is it gonna be Reveal the Deep or is it going to be Unholy Heights? Cast your vote now. Did you vote for Unholy Heights? If you did, you were correct. Unholy Heights, I'm sorry, Reveal the Deep. You were a great game, fun game. Don't regret playing you, but Unholy Heights is just so much better. It's just so much more fun and adorable, and it's got so many things going for it. I love Unholy Heights. If you guys haven't played it yet, I highly recommend that you go pick this game up because you will have hours of entertainment and it will just put a smile on your face and it'll make your day. It made mine, and it also made the finalist list. So there we go. Finalist bracket, finally filled out in full. That means we have Downwell, Please Don't Touch Anything, and Unholy Heights. We're gonna play them all in the finals episode of season one next week. Let me know who you guys predict for the win, all right? Like I said, a lot of you guys already predicted Downwell, Unholy Heights. Let me know if you've got some of that Please Don't Touch Anything love. And if you guys have liked this, and I hope you have, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Come back next week when we'll have the final episode of season one. I'll see you guys then.